Okay, good morning guys. So, it's uh, day 6 of the Great Philippine Overland Loop. So, for today, we're going camping. We're gonna go to Bukid Non and we're gonna camp in the Sea of Clouds. They call it the Sea of Clouds. It's gonna be a 3-hour drive going to the campsite. From there, we're gonna stay for 2 nights. And then it will be 3-hour drive again going to Davao. So, the next day we'll go to Davao na. We're here in Del Monte Clubhouse. Okay guys, so we continue na kami to our journey going to the campsite in Pitnon. So we're now here in Malay Balay. Malay Balay, the city of Malay Balay. So grabe yung mga daan dito, puro zigzag pa rin and maraming checkpoints. So dinadahan-dahan ko lang yung mga matatarik na paakyat kasi eh, mahirap masiraan ng clutch. Although isang kasama namin, nagpalit na siya ng clutch kasi stock clutch pa siya. So nagpalit na siya ng clutch. So wala na akong spare. Kasi yung spare ko, binigay ko sa kanya. Pero nakakuha kami ng ano, na may makukuha kami sa Davao na stock clutch. At least may spare lang kami. Kasi yung mga kotse namin, nakachun sila. And uh, uh, mabigat and pakyat. So medyo hirap yung mga clutch. Buti na lang tayo. Naka-clutch tayo from constant racing. So far, wala naman problema. Pero inaalalayan ko lang kasi mahirap masiraan kasi magbababa kami ng transmission once na nasiraan kami ng clutch so dito kami yan. Okay guys, so we're currently here in Valencia, Bukidnon. There you go. So, dito kami sa side street because the uh, our friend will meet us here. He's from Valencia, Bukidnon. We passed by the bypass road of Malay Balay a while ago. And maputik yung daan. Para siyang pang off-road. Kasi parang nasigilid siya ng mga fields. So, Medyo mga putik pumupunta sa daan so nadumihan yung mga cars namin and uh, while we were gassing up may nag-approach sa amin na friends who follows us on Instagram and our Facebook page so naipag-picture siya I told him to tag us on IG so we can see and then uh, after this we'll proceed to our campsite somewhere here in Bukidnon We'll stay here for two nights, then go to Dabao after. Bakit na kami sa aming campsite, our first campsite for this trip. May mga 8 kilometers to 10 kilometers na kami sa Bakit. Guys, this is the, one of the best spots I've been to sa camping. Look at the view, guys. Like, we need to engage our 4x4 kasi uh, masyadong steep yung paakyat. Beautiful bukid nun. Amazing.
it's uh, second day of camping, no? Second day of camping here in Valencia, Bukidnon. So, yan yung view natin. For now, we're gonna go down to another spot where we'll come for tonight. So, we're gonna go to the falls. It's a nice falls here in Valencia, Bukidnon. So, we'll stay there overnight also. And, uh... I think uh, here kasi in the Sea of Clouds view campsite medyo wala talagang source of water so meron na tayong source of water later makakaligo tayo and mag enjoy tayo mag swimming tayo baba na kami we're going to the waterfall Okay, so we're here in the falls. Nakalimutan ko yung pangalan. Hindi alakad tayo pa baba. Okay guys, good morning. Uh, it's uh, day 8 of the Great Philippine Overland Loop. So, we're currently packing up now because we're off to Davao. So, we stayed here in, uh, what's the name of this place? It's called Daru and Co. Here in Bukidnon. We stayed in Bukidnon for two nights. So, this is the point of the Great Philippine Overland Loop. Is to show you guys how safe Mindanao is, how good the campsites are. And it is free for all to come visit and do overlanding here in Mindanao. Mindanao is one of the best spots for overlanding, especially Bukidnon. It's so cold. We went to this place where you can see the view of the city of Valencia and all of the other towns near uh, Valencia. So it's very nice to camp there. So now we're here in Daru and Co. And it's also a good spot here. Uh, there's an entrance fee of, I think, 500 per vehicle and 150 per person, I think. But uh, they have a restroom, they have shower, and uh, it's perfect for a good camping trip with friends and family. We'll see you guys later. After we pack up, we'll go visit the ranch of uh, our friend here. We'll see his uh, horses, and uh, they serve here local steaks they have their local steaks we tried last night their ribeye and porterhouse it's the best so we'll have steak again for lunch we've been eating steak for the past three days good luck to our diet life but after this trip we're gonna get back on track work out and uh, shred all the things that we ate during the great philippine overland loop thank you guys and we'll see you later Hello, Mike. Hello. So we're here in the ranch of uh, the Montes Claros. So they showed us their beautiful horses. Horses. Yes, and they have uh, cows. 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 Yes. So many cows. Yeah, so many cows, guys. We'll show you. There they are. Wow. So they gave us uh, ribeye steak last night in Porterhouse, which is really good. 
We're going to Davao in a bit. What's, 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 what's that? We're just gonna we're just gonna have lunch. Uh, and daddy? Yeah, we're just gonna have lunch here in Bukidnon, then proceed to Davao. We'll stay in Davao for two nights. Um, We're now going to Dabao and uh, we're passing through Talingog, Valencia Road, going to Dabao. So we're gonna pass by Tagum first to visit a good friend, then we'll proceed to Dabao City. Good morning guys, uh, it's day 8 of the Great Philippine Overland Loop. We arrived in Davao last night from, Cag from Bukidnon. So we passed by this mountain side roads going to Davao but we dropped by Tagum City to visit a friend. Then head straight to Davao. So we stayed here, we arrived last night and we'll stay here until tomorrow and proceed to Surigao to visit the Enchanted River. I hope they allow us to swim in the Enchanted River as it's a dream to try and swim and enjoy the beauty of the river in Surigao. After Surigao, we'll go to Liloan, then Tacloban, then Tacloban to Giwan Camp. Giwan? Giwan Camp. So we're gonna camp in Giwan. So from Tacloban, it's a three-hour drive, 145 kilometers. We're gonna go to Linao Cave. So if you know Linao Cave, uh, it's known for its uh, super clear cave. It's super clear water. That's why it's called Linao Cave. I don't know. <laughs> so we have 14 days, 13, 13, 14 days more to go. Thank God, uh, everyone is safe. Walang problema. This is to promote. Uh, that the Philippines is safe wherever you go. It's safe for overlanding. Like in Bukidnon, we come to this uh, mountain spot in Barangay Banlag. And it's super safe. It's enjoy the sea of clouds. It's nice. Although hindi masyado nagpakita yung sea of clouds. Pero after it, we went to a good friend's ranch in Bukidnon. It's called the Montes Claros Ranch where he toured us showed us the beautiful horses and they have big tortoises as well and they prepared lunch for us that's why we are very thankful with our friends from Bukidnon kasi sobrang sarap ng lunch and they showed us the shortcut going to Davao so the one who called is our friend uh, Michael Serin he's a famous four-wheel drive champion off-roader and uh, I coordinated with him because when we were in Ross City a stone flew and hit the windshield of the troop carrier so nag break yung glass so I had to call a good friend in Manila David Lawrence to ship a new win windshield to Davao and gladly the windshield arrived on time it just arrived this morning in Michael Serene's shop so we're gonna bring the car after lunch to have the new windshield installed so that's the next mission is to buy a mudguard for the LC para maiwasan ang tumatalsik na bato okay good morning guys so it's day 10 of the great Philippine overland loop so we just finished staying in Davao so we stayed here for two nights we stayed in Park Radisson Park in by Radisson so don't come in next day. So now we're going to Surigao to visit the Enchanted River. And then uh, we're gonna camp in the famous beach spot in Surigao. So we'll show you guys later. See you. away or 9.2 kilometers to the famous Enchanted River. So it's our first time to visit the Enchanted River and we are so excited. Kasi yung mga storya nila sobrang ganda. And there's a trivia of the Enchanted River. Nagbabasa, nagbabasa ako ng mga facts about it. 
wala pa palang naka-reach nung depth nung Enchanted River. Even divers have uh, tried to reach the bottom pero they failed to do it. So, tayo ang mauunang aabot sa ilalim ng Enchanted River guys. <laughs> So yeah, so we'll show you guys later the beauty of uh, Surigao del Sur and uh, the beauty of the Enchanted River. See you guys! Okay, so as you can see guys, we're here in Enchanted River and we're gonna try to swim We're gonna try to swim here Guys, it's so beautiful here. Look at the river Amazing and we have Joe here. All right, tara na, jump tayo doon. Hindi pwede dyan. Patate! Mamatay ako dyan. Mamatay ka talaga malalim na. Tara, dito tayo. So, dito ang swimming area. So, pinagbawalan na nilang maligo dito. Kasi nasisira daw yung mga reef. So, dito na pwedeng maligo. Yan, pakita ko sa inyo. Yan. It's so nice. Even here, oh, yung spot dito to swim. Ang ganda. Panalong panalo. Okay guys, so kakalis lang namin ng Enchanted River. Sobrang ganda ng Enchanted River. Talagang ang ganda ng pagka-blue ng water niya. Tapos nag-boat tour kami. Nag-tour kami going sa isang uh, fish pen near the Enchanted River. Ang galing. Meron siyang parang resort siya in the middle of the water. In the middle of the sea na may mga rooms. Tapos, meron silang fish pen. Sobrang laki mga jack, jack fish pa yun. And may mga shark din, may mga stingray na you can swim with them. Punta kami sa isang uh, cliff uh, jumping. Taas din yung cliff jump nila dito. Saya. Hindi kami nakapag-video. Kasi, nas na low bat yung camera. So, yun lang yung recap ng uh, Enchanted River trip namin. So, we're now traveling, going to Botuan. Supposed to be, we'll camp sana in, in near Enchanted River, pero since uh, walang spot na okay, so we decided to travel after you swimming namin to Botuan City. Maybe it will take us two and a half to three hours to Botuan. Para tomorrow, we'll go to this uh, port near uh, Butuan, mga two and a half hours away. Cause supposed to be six hours in travel namin tomorrow. So, kinat na namin para andun na kami sa Butuan ngayon and we'll have uh, we'll stay in a hotel tonight. So, we'll see you guys later. 